Hi, my name is Elizabeth Melzer, and this is Hector. He's a four and a half year old West Highland White Terrier. He's getting ready to compete at the Westminster Dog Show this Tuesday in New York City. And this will be his third year in a row um, at Westminster. And this is his second year invited to the dog show. To be invited, you need to be the top five in your breed rankings in breed points. Um, and Hector was the number two male last year and the number three Westie in the country. Right now he's getting a bath and then what we do is we dry him off and then blow him dry and he gets this type of bath every time he goes to a dog show. Freshens up his furnishings and lets you groom them the way that they should look when they're being presented. Um, they don't mind it, he likes to swim a lot. So he's kind of used to the water. Mm -hmm. So, does he get any kind of special shampoo? Um, we use a light whitening shampoo mm -hmm. um, that helps with any staining um, from being out in the grass or any urine stains and stuff like that. Um, but no other products are really used on him to keep him white. He's pretty white all the time. Mm -hmm. So does he like this? I think he likes it. <laughs> he seems happy most of the time, right? Are you happy? A little treat to reward him. Good boy. So how often do you, does he normally have to get a bath? He gets a bath once a week at home for maintenance, and then every day we're at a dog show, he would get a bath. So if it's a five-day dog show, he would get five baths. Um, and that just helps keep the furnishings um, in good condition and conditioned and keeping him clean, right? So the next thing, you're gonna blow him dry? We're gonna blow him dry now. Okay. We're gonna use a force dryer first, which helps blow off most of the excess water, and it's very loud. The more you move the hair around, the quicker it'll dry. You want to get down to the roots and make sure it's all the way dry. So do you have to let his hair grow during, you know, during the year until it gets to a, this length? Yep, it's always growing, and he's groomed about twice a week. And the maintenance on the coat is called rolling the coat. When you're continually taking off the old hair and bringing in new hair, especially down the back when you roll the hard hair. With the head, we're gonna go ahead and tease in the head hair. Just taking the tips of it and holding onto it and brushing the hair down into the scalp. What this is gonna do is create some volume um, and give them the chrysanthemum look on the head, which is what we're looking for. I'll be, just prior to this, he had a bath and a bath and a blow dry, mm -hmm. um, and the bath and the blow dry is to freshen up the furnishings and get any dirt or residue from being out in the yard or playing with anyone else off. Keep uh, getting them nice and white um, so they're ready to go in the ring. Is it a special shampoo you have to use? Um, I use an enzyme shampoo called Crystal White, which helps keep the coat in a white, the white color and helps pull out any stains. Um, there's many different types of shampoo out there. Depending upon the breed, um, you're going to use different types. Do you have to use a conditioner? I don't use any conditioner on him. Conditioner tends to make the coat a little soft. And with terriers, you want to have a nice hard coat. For the legs, I'm just going to give them a little bit of volume tease. So when they get brushed down, they're going to look like columns. So these are all things that the judges look for in their... They're going to look for presentation. Mm -hmm. When you go to a dog show that's being judged on confirmation, they are judged on how closely they represent a ridden standard um, for the dog. So for the Westie, they're looking for the shoulders, and they're looking for the forced chest, and they're looking for the teeth to be able to eat the vermin, and different things like that. So there's all different types of things in the standard that your dog needs to possess to be judged on. Um, the grooming is the added part of it, um, and everyone grooms a little bit different. Some people um, 
don't tease. Some people do tease. It's all personal preference on how you want to finish your dog. None of this teases in here when I get finished. As you'll see, it will all get brushed out. He seems very patient. He's a very good boy. He's been doing this for a while, so he's kind of used to what we do. Um, he definitely enjoys going in the ring. Once he gets to see all the other Westies, he gets very fired up and excited. So what is, have you had him since a pup? I've had Hector since he was 10 weeks old and he was bred in Connecticut and then moved down here to live with me. So now I'm just combing out a lot of the teas. We have created a lot of volume. And this is gonna give that shape that we're looking for. And do you, how often do you do this whole routine? Well, depending upon how often we have a show. Um, most weekends we are at a show. So probably three or four times a week he gets done like this. When we're at home in the off time, he'll just get a blow dry, a wash and a blow dry, um, just to maintain his hair and keep it in good condition. And when you're at the show, you do it every day? When we're at the show, he gets a bath every day to keep him nice and fresh. Just a little spray to hold everything in place. You don't ever want to overdo it. You want to be able to touch it. Have the comb go through it. And just had his little ear tips come out. For the legs, you're pretty much going to do the same. Just going to brush all the teas out. So when do you start, you know, the grooming process like this? I mean, at what age? Um, he was stripped at probably 12 weeks old. So stripping is the process of pulling the hair out and generating new growth. Um, and by stripping earlier, you're getting the harder coat um, to come in. Some dogs are a lot easier to get a hard coat and it comes in very quickly and some dogs take a long time for the hard coat to come. So what exactly do you mean by a hard coat? So the hard coat, the harder the hair on the back, um, the better it is for a terrier that's out hunting because then it's able to repel and keep the water off and keep their body temperature correct in case they get wet and different things like that. So that's creating the column look that we're looking for in the front legs mm -hmm. and in the back legs. Do the same thing, I'm just gonna brush it up and get rid of the tees. Because he certainly seems used to this whole process. Yes. That just gives the nice swoop around the back leg. Nothing overdone there. And is this, uh, the stripping is done in all the terrier groups? All terriers are stripped except the Chesky Terrier. That is the only one that is clippered. Hmm. I'll change sides here. Hairspray there. So has the West Highland Terrier won the uh, Westminster? Has never won Westminster. Um, the Westie did win the Crufts Dog Show over in London two years ago. Her name was Devon. So that's pretty much how he's finished. Um, right before he goes in the ring, he kind of just softened it up a little bit. But now he would be ready to go in the ring. Hmm. <laughs> you don't want to, you want to go get her? Go get her. Say hi. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. You want cookies? You want to go outside? So he likes, are these dog cookies? Um, This is just freeze-dried chicken that he gets. So that's the treat that you give him in the ring? Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, is it important what you wear when you're in the ring? <laughs> there are is there... no dress code, okay. although most women tend to wear suits or dresses. Um, and the gentlemen wear suits um, or a blazer and khakis, different things like that. Yes, you good boy. You good boy. What do you want now? What do you want now? So when he sees the ring, does he know what it's? What's oh happening? yeah, he knows what's going on when we go there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, cookies. I guess there's not enough room here to, to walk in, or can you do, maybe show a little well, bit? I can do a little bit of walking. Let's kind see of walking. Here. 
What's his full name? His full name is Nutmeg's Monarch of the Lake. He's named after a British BBC TV show. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you good boy. So what's the key when you're doing, when you're in the ring, how is he supposed to walk? He's supposed to, it's a little hard to show you how he walks in the ring here, yeah. um, but he's supposed to be attentive to me, excited. They're a happy breed. They're supposed to be not looking upset, giving you some good expression like he is right now. Keeping his ears pricked, 